gonna do now? What you gonna do now? <laughs> no clue at all. What so, you gonna do now? I know what I'm gonna do. I go to the studio and I find a very specific snare. Something like And it's this particular snare in this key of D major with all of the musical elements together. The most important thing being like the guitar pluck. It's like a what you gonna do now? You're all screaming it very loudly with me, alright? Please follow me like a ride. I can feel the pain. You take up every corner of my mind. What you gonna do now? Oh, since the Song called Call Dangerously. It's gonna hurt, but I blame myself first because I know the truth. Don't call the light.
It's like a spa. Doesn't it feel like we're in a spa? Right now? And now I'm going to rub your head. Um, but I love this song and what it did for what the, the stories that I hear about it, what it did for people, and I I love what it did for me. I feel like it. I made something that helped me graduate to the next level of my life, and that's this song. It was made four years ago, and it did very well, but recently it's caught fire again, so I had to play it for you in Hong Kong tonight. And uh, you can hit it, Louis. This is a song called Cheating on You. Musicians, and songwriters, artists in here tonight. I just want to let you know, I never thought, I mean, I kind of thought, and I never thought that I would be, be able to travel around the world and my job would be to play music for millions and millions of people and that 10,000 people would show up on whatever day it is today just to sing along some songs with us. I, if you're a musician or an artist and you want to do what I'm doing, you can you can do it. I don't want you to think that I'm in, a, in this unreachable position. So I hope this evening is inspiring for you as it is for me. Look how all the tables, look how all the tables are turned. Guess you finally realizing that bad you messed it up. Girl, you only make it, girl, you only make it worse. When you call like you always do, when you want someone. Took away a year, fucking life, and I can't get even no more. So when I see those tears coming out your eyes, I
opportunity to say that jamming with a band on stage in Hong Kong is one of the most amazing feelings ever.
Is it all right if we just do one more? Come along! 